Um, how many of you guys actually care how much your parents spend on dinner? Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does the amount that they spend depend on how good it will taste? Probably. <laughs> well, in the United States, about well, most families spend about 151 to 180 dollars every week on dinner, and that's about 604 to 720 dollars a month. My family, on the other hand, spends about 94 to 100 dollars more than that. So we spend about 245 to 280 dollars every week on just dinner. It's about nine hundred and eighty dollars to one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars every month. Um, I chose this because I wanted to learn how to save money for my family, uh, learn new recipes, and save learn how to save money for myself when I move out. Um, things I have to consider when making these meals is that my mom, she's a diabetic. Uh, my sister, she's five, and she's allergic to peanuts, soy, and eggs. And my stepdad, he has chronic acid reflux, so like spicy food is out of question. Um, my expectations, they were pretty high. I thought it was going to be easy, I just got to cook, whatever. But it wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, researching the meals, I thought it was going to be easier because I thought that like, it would be like a whole bunch online, about $20 meals, making meals for cheap and all that. But it was like, let's make breakfast, let's make lunch, let's not make dinner, because you know, if we don't eat dinner, I guess. Um, shopping for the ingredients was pretty easy. Um, or my mom gave me the money, but I have to go for myself. It's kind of um, cooking the $20 meals is pretty easy. Um, but getting feedback from my family, I was kind of worried about, because they're pretty mean and judgmental. They're like, this is gross, don't ever make it again. So. Um, some of my failures was I didn't cook as often as I should have. I cooked about 20 meals in the end, and um, I didn't cook as many healthy meals like my mom, so she had to like find alternatives and stuff. Uh, mom said I needed help sweeping meals to fit my budget, so she had to help me like take stuff out, add stuff in, and make it better, I guess. I didn't keep track of the prices, so I didn't take pictures of the receipts. Like I wrote down the prices of each meal, but I didn't take a picture of the actual stuff. Um, some of my successes were my family loved um, eat meal. This, she never finishes a plate ever. So it's like a big deal that she actually ate it all. Um, I took a lot of pictures of the food. I saved my family about $250 a week. So it was kind of a lot. My mom gave me, I gave my mom new recipe ideas to use for our um, dinners and she thought that was a really positive thing, and I learned some recipe, recipes for myself when I go away for college. This is my mom. Okay. Oh. You just missed it. How did you feel helping me with this project? I felt like it was a learning experience for the both of us. It taught me a lot about how to budget, how to um, <coughs> save money, how to, you know, cut out certain things in order to make meals less expensive. Did this give you some new food ideas for cheaper prices? Yes, it did. Um, when I first started this project, did you think my goals are unattainable? Um, I thought that they would be hard to obtain, but Anything you put your mind to, you can achieve. Cheesy. 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 Um, cooking, I learned a lot and I got to cook on my own and I cook a lot of stuff now. Uh, my family loves the meals that I cook for the most part, not all the time. Um, tips and tricks that I learned, shopping at money saving stores, like Ultra Foods, Food for Less, Aldi. Even though I hate Aldi, everybody hates Aldi, it's always packed, so it's a little aisle and a quarter with it, it's too much. <laughs> 
and buy the in-store brand instead of the name brand. The in-store brand is usually the same, like it tastes the same as the name brand, it's just cheaper. Um, mixing inexpensive and expensive, that's like having Beyonce taste and Iggy, Iggy Azalea money. <laughs> um, so that you have steak and frozen vegetables or chicken and like a really expensive vegetable. Um, utilize sales ads and sales. Like go online and look at the sales ads that they have at the store that you're going to go to. And shop around before buying. Shopping around is kind of hard going to each store and you're like, this is the same. Why is a peck of ground beef $17.99 here and three dollars at all beef? No. <laughs> Um, some of the meals that I cooked that were um, under twenty dollars was enchiladas, chicken pot pie, turkey burgers, chicken wraps, chicken alfredo with garlic bread, uh, pepper steak and rice, pork tenderloin, mac and cheese, green beans, chicken teriyaki, um, chicken parm, and chicken burritos. Overall, I learned like how to cook some really good meals and um, for my family and save my family a little bit of money. And for the most part, I think the project was okay. For the most part. So, yeah. Okay. Did you, uh, was that really exactly $20 on the pork tenderloin? Yeah. Good for you. Wow. That's nice. So, were you guys, like, spending all your money eating, going out? <laughs>